Cleanup efforts continue in East Palestine, Ohio, after a train derailment led to a toxic chemical spill. While federal aid is now on the ground, some say the Biden administration should be doing more to help. Fox's Garrett Tinney has more on the story. We should see Buttigieg. We should see the president. We should see every official involved breathing the same air, drinking the same water, staying in the hotels, visiting people's homes. The White House is facing growing pressure to do more in response to the East Palestine train derailment in Ohio. It has now been more than two weeks since the wreck spilled toxic chemicals into the small community of some 4,700 people. Despite data showing the air and water are safe, there are still widespread health concerns. It's an issue of confidence and confidence. And right now, people don't know if they can drink the water. They don't know if they're going to be exposed to all this long-term damage. Over the weekend, federal aid began arriving to ease some of those worries. Scientists and Toxicology experts with the CDC, FEMA, and the Health and Human Services began testing the area. On Tuesday, the state will open a medical clinic to evaluate residents who say they are still feeling sick. I want our people to definitely take use of those clinics, um, and we need to get some data together so we can have uh, data-driven uh, research. Railway operator Norfolk Southern has promised to fully support the community as cleanup efforts continue. A promise Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg warned must be kept. In a sharply worded letter to the railway company Sunday, Buttigieg said, quote, Norfolk Southern must live up to its commitment to make residents whole and must also live up to its obligation to do whatever it takes to stop putting communities such as East Palestine at risk. While it's unclear if President Biden will be visiting East Palestine, former President Donald Trump is expected to come to town on Wednesday. In East Palestine, Ohio, I'm Garrett Tenney, Fox News.